Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems and today we're going to be taking a look at what's new in 2015 for SOLIDWORKS Inspection. Specifically, we'll be taking a look at the add-in here and creating a new template. So before, um, you know, we, we had some settings that we could set, but to create a SOLIDWORKS Inspection project template, we were restricted to the ones that came included with the add-in. Well, new for 2015, we have the option to create a template here from scratch. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and balloon out a drawing um, exactly as how we would like it, and then save those settings so that we can apply them to any drawing in the future. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'll create a new project and I'll choose just a default template. It really does not matter which one you start with unless you're trying to copy over a lot of the settings it already has. In this case, we're gonna just add this default one here. And then this first pane here in the project manager, um, we can set some of the check boxes and uh, static settings down here, but any of this property information that's coming from the document, we're not gonna bother to fill it out because it won't carry over in the template. It'll be blanked out again for the new one. Um, we're going to leave all these alone and go to the next page here, and here we will make some adjustments. We want to get rid of the surface finish welds and hole callouts, but we do want to keep the GD and T's and our inspection only uh, dimension. So anything marked on the on the drawing for inspection, like these ones here with the ovals around it, or any GD and T frames like these here, these ones will be added or, or ballooned rather as part of our default template. So we'll go ahead and uh, hit next here to go to the next page. And what we're going to do is change these default tolerances to some other values. In this case, uh, let's make these all threes here. So we'll go ahead and change these values so that these are the default tolerances that are applied to any dimensions that don't have a specified tolerance out in the drawing. And once we're happy with all those and the document units, we can go ahead and say OK here. Because that auto balloon checkbox was turned on, we get our balloons automatically added to the drawing. You could go ahead and toggle that off if you wanted to. And then the final step we'd like to do here is perhaps set some settings for the balloons themselves. So if we come over here to our balloon document option, we can go ahead and change the shape or the size or any of that stuff about the balloons. Um, in here, we'd like to go ahead and uh, change perhaps the shape from a circle to a hexagon. And uh, we'll go ahead and say OK here. And now that we've got the right shape as well as all of the settings for our particular drawing set up, we can go over here and now you'll see that this create new template option is available. It's no longer grayed out. So we'll go ahead and select that button. A new project template will be created from the project settings that we have currently. So um, we'll go ahead and say, okay, yes. And we'll give this a YouTube example and save that there. And now what we can do is go ahead and close down this drawing without saving. We'll open up a new drawing. So here's our new drawing and we'll go ahead and apply that same inspection template to it and everything should carry over. So the first thing we're going to do is mark a few of these dimensions here uh, for inspection. So I'll just grab a couple here at random. And we'll just mark these here for inspection. So by doing so, we can just come over here. You see there's a button in the property manager selecting all of those dimensions on the drawing allows us to just toggle this button all at once and those are now marked for inspection. So according to our template, those and only those as well as the GD and T frames will go ahead and get balloons. So now we can come over here, start a new project. And this time, instead of that default template, we'll come down and because we created that template and saved it in the same folder as the others, it appears here automatically. Now, obviously, if you're going to create a lot of custom templates, you might want to save them in a separate folder so it doesn't get washed out during an upgrade or something like that. And then you can add them manually by using this button here and browsing out to the folder location. In our case, though, we're just going to grab this YouTube example here and say OK. Like I mentioned, these things uh, didn't get anything, but you'll notice that these checkboxes did stay. And if we just quickly browse through the options, you'll see here that nothing has changed. These are all still being kept from the default settings that we created in that template. And so we'll say OK there. And because that auto balloon is checked on, we get all of our balloons. And because they, we changed them to the hex shape, we uh, also get the hex hexagonal uh, balloons here being added. And notice how it's only going for the marked for inspection and GD and T frame dimensions. So that is how we create a SolidWorks inspection add-in template uh, new for 2015. Be sure to check back to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.